Deanna Dixon. I pray that you are having a blessed day in the Lord. Give him honor. Give him praise. Give him glory. If you look at the title, the title of my life is, um, and you know what? I cannot see. Okay. I'm, I'm going to wait till you guys kind of get on here. But anyway, the title of my life is, my life is, um, lives, <laughs> um, is your crisis is a setup for the glory of God. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. Give him praise. Give him honor. I'm waiting to some of you. Come on. I don't like this new thing. This new thing. You can't, I can't tell whether you guys are on or not. Okay. All right. So let me go ahead and end on it. So first of all, I missed you guys. Praise God. Y'all know I'm just busy. But nevertheless, come on somebody. Hallelujah. God is good. And so this is what God was telling me. He said, a lot of people are going through. No, let, let me let me clarify that. A lot of God's people are going through. Don't get antsy. Don't get don't get in with a lot of anxiety. Don't start panicking. Don't go to this one. Don't go to that one. But calm yourself down, says the Lord. Pray fast whatever you got to do so you can hear clear directions god says clear instructions come on somebody on who to connect to and who not to connect to come on somebody people of god in this hour you have to do things on purpose it can't just be you just moving you know sometimes be honest when you're going through some situations you just moving you just you, you know that survival instinct kicks in which actually is a setup from the devil because you still got to be clear to hear you gotta wait on god come on somebody hallelujah i don't care what it looks like i don't care what it feels like i don't care what the people say i don't care what they don't say in the name of jesus hold on you because um i don't understand this how every time i, st I start a lie people want to start calling me well maybe i do understand just turned it off whatever so anywho let me tell you something and i'm going through it as we speak thank you lord i hear you as god prepare you for that next level oh there will be opposition Oh, there will be resistance because guess what? God is allowing it because you ain't never been here before. You haven't walked this walk before. You haven't been there before. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So now you need him every step of the way. You got to hear him. God, should I go? Should I not go? Should I do this? Should I not do it? Should I let this person? Should I let you got to? Thank you, Lord. He's teaching you how to have a relationship with him. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Stewardship because he's getting ready to catapult you where you've never been we're not just talking about in business we're talking about in ministry we're talking about in every area of your life and guess what i'm gonna tell you what you already know everybody can't go with you that's it right there some of you are trying to drag your friends some of you are trying to drag your family some of you are trying to drag this one some of you are trying to drag this one let me tell you something you gotta take who god say take Come on, some don't do like Abraham and take a lot because sooner or later they had to what they had to part. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. In this season, you cannot miss it, says the Lord. You have to fast, you have to pray, you have to be obedient, you have to listen, you have to be still long enough to listen. Let me tell you what the enemy tries to do. He tries to send distractions on purpose. He'll send people, he'll send opportunities, everything good ain't God. I just said, some, somebody write that in the comments, everything good ain't God, I'm sorry. And it doesn't mean that people are bad, don't get it twisted. I'm not saying, okay, they just not part of your assignment. They not just part of what God has for you. Oh, come on somebody, hallelujah, I'm just telling you what it is hallelujah so you got to get your little feelings pick them up and you got to be grown about this come on somebody hallelujah and in this season god let me tell you something i've been saying this for six months there's a wealth transfer supernaturally i said that in my last video there's a wealth transfer supernaturally i keep asking people how did god take care of abraham do you know pharaoh's system Oh, I'm about to go in. I didn't know I was about to do all this. The pharaoh system keeps you oppressed, suppressed, depressed. That's why 88.5 people are on alcohol and drugs. Because when you get off that pharaoh job, you're tired. You know you're tired. Your body tired. You're going home fussing with your wife, your children, and vice versa. Because you were never meant to be under a pharaoh system. Oh, I'm speaking today. Hallelujah. God never told you to do a job. God gave you a work to do. And that's in scripture. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Your work is your gift. Your work is your destiny. Your work is your mandate. Your work will take people and get them saved and healed and delivered by the power of God. That's your work. Now, your work may be your passion, too. I'm talking about whatever you're doing. If you're a lawyer, a doctor, something like that. 
but it better be that God is the one that assigned it and ordained it to you. And how you know if it doesn't feel like work? Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. When you call to something, when God ordained it, it doesn't feel like it's work. It's your passion. It, it, it's driven in you. I'm talking about you do it in your sleep. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I'm speaking. God never told you to get two or three jobs, people. God, I don't know who this is for. You're tired. You know you're tired. And, and, and hold on for stuff. Don't you know when God really called you to supernatural wealth, that's when he'll tell you to budget more so. That means you can't go buy no jobs. You can't buy this. You can't buy that. Because guess what? You can't move until God tell you to move. Because God is teaching you how to budget. God is teaching you how to finance money. God, God, God is teaching you the, the rules of money. You want to know why? And, and this, is, this is statistics. 98% of people that win the lottery end up broke in less than a year. You want to know why? They don't know the art of money. They don't know how to handle money. I'm going somewhere. It's the only reason some of you is working two, three, four jobs. Because the more you get, the more you want. Instead of discipline yourself. And I don't know why. I, I didn't went all the way to the left. Because y'all know I don't talk about money like this. But it, it, it's not money that's bad. That's the root of all evil. It's the love of money. All right? All right? We're not talking about that. We're talking about there's a wealth transfer to where you ain't got to work like a dog. Oh, I'm talking to somebody. You may not like me. God didn't, God been told you to get off that job. God been told you to get your own business. God been told you. And hold on. Let me tell you something. God don't do stuff just for money. Somebody write that in the comments. God doesn't do stuff just for money. It is about your ministry in the end. Because let me tell you something. God will never bless you just for you. Oh, come on, somebody. I feel the power of God up in here. God will never bless you just for you. The devil is a lie. Just so you can go on vacation, the devil is a lie. God will bless you for your family, your friends, your church, even your enemies. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. It's about a, a group of things. It's not just about you. So that's why it's so important that you get to that position that God has assigned you to. And a lot of you are in transition right now. That's why he's making me do this. There's a crisis going on. There's some things going on. You, you, you're you in a pinch right now. You don't know which way to turn. You don't know what's going on. But I say, sit still. And hear my voice. And when you can't see me, he said, just hear me. Just hear me. Just hear me, said the Lord. Because every time you ain't going to see God, let's be real. You, and, and when you go into the next level, you, you're looking at God because he came this way last year. He's going to come that same way. God is dimensional. God is not traditional. I'm going to say it again. God is dimensional. God is not traditional. God is going to come how God come. What elevates, perpetrates, and penetrates. Because he's trying to get you to a certain level. That's why that crisis has come into your life. That's why you're going through what you're going through. Because it's just like being in a gym. The spiritual gym. God is exercising your muscles saying, you can't do it that way no more. You, you, can't, you, you, you can't go this way. You can't be disobedient that way because it's going to hit you. The higher you go, you know how they say different levels, different devils. That is true, but also... Sometimes God allow things because he's, he's, he's pruning you. He's grooming you. Come on, somebody, hallelujah, so you can understand where you're going. You want to know why the church is in disarray right now? Because you got people in position that never processed. I'm going to say that again. People in position that never processed. You got to process this thing. You can't just do it like that. I tried. Oh, trust me, what I didn't try. And then I realized I had to go right back to God. Okay, God. He said, now you understand. I'm in control, not you, Deanna. That means you got to do what I say, when I say. And if you don't like it, that's your business. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Because truth be told, this thing is not about us. This destiny, this mandate, this calling, this about everybody that's connected to you. Somebody's waiting on you to get it together. Somebody waiting on you. And let me tell you something. It is how you know that you're close because all hell will break up. Oh, come on, somebody. I mean, people that, that never acted fool in your life or start acting fool, you be like, what is going on? What, what You know what's going on. God is getting ready to promote you in every area of your life, not just finances, but ministry. And then guess what? Some of you ask for some houses. Some of you ask for some cars. And believe it or not, God will give it to you. God said, if you've been obedient in this, so I'll give you that. Oh, come on, somebody. I'm reminded of Solomon. Solomon asked for wisdom and God said, I'll make him the richest king that ever lived. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So it ain't about that. Don't get it twisted. God says, I, I, I want you to ask for wisdom and discernment because a fool in his money should soon part. You don't hear what I'm saying. You don't hear what I'm saying. That's why some of you are getting used and abused. I'm just being real. And we ain't even talking about just ministry in life. 
Do not do anything without God, especially when you're in this crisis, especially when you're going through things, especially in transition. When you're in transition, the enemy, he starts acting crazy because he knows that God is getting ready to bless you, that God is getting ready to move you, that God is getting ready to do some things that have never been done in your life. So what he tries to do is send our distractions. So get your eyes off of what God said, but you have to have tunnel vision in this hour like never before. Tunnel vision. I, I see you, but I, I, I can't mess with you right now i see you i see what you're doing but guess what i'd rather oh come on somebody hallelujah i gotta tell y'all what happened yesterday never knew i was gonna be talking about it today i had two earrings right and i was cleaning up and have you ever thrown an earring or thought you throwing an earring in the garbage can so i thought i threw it in the garbage can because I, sometimes we move so fast y'all know that right so i said lord that's one of my favorite earrings so guess what i did i started to dig in it and then all of a sudden i said i'm not digging in no trash I sure did, and I put the other earring to the side. I said, I'm just going to have to throw it away. You know what happened? And I don't know how this happened. So I looked again, and, and that other earring was on the floor, so then I had both of them. He said, just like you refuse to dig in the trash, I want you to refuse to pay attention to petty people. Y'all better hear what I say. I'm telling you, I heard him say that. I said, God, I get it. I get it. Any, he said, anybody time somebody attack you, even if they talk about you, he said, whatever they do, you are royalty. Act like royalty. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. He said, don't let anybody pull you down to that level. Now, nothing has happened, but I presume he's preparing me for something that may be coming. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. He said, just like you refuse to dig in that trash, he said, don't let anyone take you down. He said, because when I elevate you, listen to this, catch this, catch this. He said, people try, this enemy send people on purpose to try to taint your character and move you out of character. I said, wow. I, I know it's true, but when you hear it like that, it, it just look, makes you look at, at things differently. Think about it. Think about when the enemy comes. The enemy don't come. Come on, somebody. The enemy just don't come. Whenever he comes, he comes with an assignment and a purpose to destroy you. The Bible says the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy and in that order, come on somebody, he wants to steal everything, he wants to destroy your reputation, and, and steal, kill, and destroy, he wants to kill everything that God has started in your life, and God says no, let me tell you something people of God, I know it's been hard, you, you can't front, I know, because I, I know what God was telling me, that's why my title is, in the crisis, it's a setup for the glory of God, God told me to tell you people of God, that thing gonna turn around, that's why he didn't let that what this one help you and that one help you. That's why he let that one walk out. Come on, somebody. That's why he took that job or allowed that job to be taken. You you you, you know how you get in despair and you get kind of like, oh my God, what I'm gonna do? What I'm gonna do? He said, do not, do not be dismayed. He said, because I'm gonna turn that thing around. He said, the reason why I allowed it to happen is because if I'd have let them do it, then they would have wanted the glory. He said, but the way I'm gonna do it, everybody gonna know that it's me, said God, and they're gonna have to give me the glory that I'm with you. Hallelujah, I feel the power of God. It doesn't matter who leave you. It doesn't matter who stay. It doesn't matter who help you. It doesn't matter who talk about you. It doesn't matter, God says. He says, Lo, I am with you. I'll be a friend to your friend and an enemy to your enemy, said the Lord. Hallelujah. So shake it off. Shake it off, God says. Gird up your lions. Walk like a man and a woman of God. Act like it, talk like it, walk like it, and be like it, says God. He says, so I am with you. What I said, I'm going to do. Not in your time. Not the way you think. He said, just be obedient. Just be obedient. And understand that I need you to serve me more in this hour. Because let me tell you something. The enemy is trying to move people off course so that you, you do something that you've never done before. You see, when you panic, and, 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 and it started with that C. With, with, I don't even like saying it, but COVID. The enemy came and God allowed the enemy. I told y'all that was the first elite major hit. I don't care what y'all say. To try to get people to start hoarding. To start hoarding. To start being selfish. To start, whole, in case this happened again, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. God said, can you just trust me? He said, because, oh, I hear you, God. He said, remember Joseph. I knew, Joseph knew famine was coming. He said, but I prepared Joseph to be what? The provider for his whole family. Some of you are Joseph. Hallelujah. So it don't matter if they throw you in a pit. It don't matter if they sell you. It don't matter if they lie on you. It don't matter if you're being incarcerated eight years for nothing you didn't do. He says, I'm going to bless you. I'm going to restore you. I'm going to lift you up, said the Lord. Hallelujah. He said, stand your ground. 
Somebody put that in the in the comments. Stand your ground. I, I don't care. I, I know it gets a little topsy turvy. He said, "Stand your ground." I don't care if you have tears in your eyes and fears. Stand your ground," said the Lord. "I am with you, Lord, always." Hallelujah! I feel the power of God, and that's all God told me to tell y'all. You gotta stand your ground. Hallelujah! I hear you, God. Everybody not gonna love you. Everybody not gonna like you. Hold on. I need to say this. Remember, these are the last days. The Bible says that even people of your same household would be against you. Y'all better understand this truth. Stop getting your little feelings hurt. And I, I know it hurts, trust me. You're looking at people like, oh, what's wrong with you? They just doing what they supposed to do. You see, let me tell you something. I call them close cuts. The devil, he know, he, he know you ain't gonna, if you really have wisdom in this, I mean, you ain't finna just let anybody come into your life. Let's be real. So how did, what does he use? He used people that are close to you. I call them close cousins because that's the only way they can stick you. And that's why people that are close to me, they, they know one thing. Don't play with me. Be because guess what? I'm always scanning. Somebody write that in the comments. You better scan. You better scan. You better scan. What you doing? Seeing if they being tainted. Seeing if the enemy is using them. How, yeah, I said what I said. Because now you know. Give me 50 feet. Back up, back up, back up. Hallelujah. Y'all think I'm crazy. I'm real. Hallelujah. All right. So God bless you. God keep you. I speak blessings over your life. I speak prosperity over your life. I speak healing over your life. I speak deliverance over your life. I know what I carry. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. He is still all powerful. The blood is still all powerful. That's what Satan is fighting you about. That blood. The blood. The blood of Jesus. It will never lose its power in this hour. Hallelujah. Somebody write that. The blood of Jesus will never lose its power in this hour. I see you, Satan. I know what you're doing. I know you don't like us Christians, the authentic ones, the remnant. See, the other ones, they're not real. You know what I'm saying? But you can't stop what God has blessed. You can't curse what God has blessed. You can't stop it. Hallelujah, God says. He said, carry on, soldiers. Hallelujah. Of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Understand who you are. Walk in your authority. Talk in your authority. Move in your authority, said the Lord. Hallelujah. This is not a game. So God bless you. God keep you. Y'all know what time it is. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll our soldiers for that is truly who we are. God bless. Love you all. Have a good one.